Hello and welcome. We've got a great show lined up for you this week. We've got two turkey hunts, one in Tennessee in the snow, one in Virginia on our farm with my dad. Then we're going whitetail hunting up in Ohio and Kentucky. We're going to see if I can put my tag on one of those big old bucks we've been getting trail cam pictures of. Don't go anywhere. It's going to be exciting. I'm Freddie Neely and welcome to 3B Outdoors. Outdoors, bucks, bass, and beers. Well, folks, I had a few hours to kill, and knowing that these turkeys was out here, I couldn't stand it. I had to go. It's raining. It's nasty weather. Everybody else is either working or sleeping. I'm trying to do something that I very rarely ever do, and probably can't do it this time. But I am trying to film myself. I'm back on one of the flats. When I came in, I seen some turkey down in a field. And if they head back up the mountain, I think they'll come through this flat. So, it's, it's about nine o'clock, and I'm gonna stay till about 1.30, 2 o'clock, something like that, and just see what happens. I'm not gonna do a whole lot of calling. Do a little soft calling with the Woodhaven. ground is what <sighs> if 
Well, folks, right there he is. Look at that big old long beard on him. Probably 11 inch beard. Just, a, just an unbelievable day. Had to work last night and uh, I know the weather was gonna turn bad, but uh, we've been seeing these birds in these fields back over here about midday. And uh, I said, well, yeah, I bet they're going back in that mountain to roof. So I came in here with the bow today. Everybody else was working, sleeping or something. I, I've never done a self film, but uh, I think I got it. And I have to thank a good Lord for looking down on me today. And man, you know, it don't get any better than this. I have never turkey hunted in the spring where it's been pouring down snow. Thanks to the Chill R from Matthews, Spot Hog Sites, and all of our other good sponsors, man, we couldn't ask for any better sponsors than what we got. Go to our website, check our sponsors out, give them a yell, tell them that uh, the boys from 3B Outdoors sent you. I'm telling you, it is cold out here this morning. But uh, man, I tell you what, these birds was on a mission. They was, I called them in twice and uh, we finally got him, so thank you. This portion of 3B Outdoors is brought to you by these fine companies. Whether it's shooting for fun, shooting for victory, or the one chance at the trophy, of a lifetime. Trust Spot Hog, the world's toughest archery products. Freddie, what am I doing wrong? Just because something appears easy doesn't mean that it is. It's just like what you say to all your clients. A small mistake now can add up and cost you much more through your future retirement. How many folks do you know that are retirement ready that are off target? that needs your help to get back on track? Exactly, but how do you hit the target every time? Just like this. It's a proven process. Take control and own your retirement. Contact the Coastal Financial Planning Group today. Luminoc, the original self-contained lighted knock on the market, patented to accept replaceable lithium batteries and designed to work with all carbon aero shafts while producing the brightest results during any condition. Easily the most durable illuminated knocks to allow up to 40 hours of continuous use and are packaged and crafted to perfection for hundreds of shots. There's only one true Luminoc. Luminoc by Burt Coyote, made in the USA. No matter your destination, ride on a Kimco ATV or side-by-side -side and take control. Built tough, packed with power and full of features to work hard all day and play harder all weekend. Whether you're hauling hay to the shed, running the toughest trails, or heading out for a weekend hunt, you're confident, ready, and in command. Payments as low as $59 a month with 1.9% APR for 36 months during the Kimco Ride On sales event. See your local Kimco dealer today. Kimco, choose your own path and ride on. I tow over 30,000 miles a year. That's why I choose MotorMate. When towing, it's important to tow with confidence, regardless if you're going only a few miles to your local lake or 2,000 miles across the country. And one of my favorite things about MotorMade is how compact it is and how easy it is to stow away. Now that is the deal. MotorMade, proudly made in the USA. This portion of 3B Outdoors is brought to you by Drake's Adventures, the interactive book series that gets children involved. And Drake's father fired back a fly-down cackle, <laughs> then went silent. Hey, welcome to your 3B's Drake's Adventure segment. We're in South Virginia. Freddie and his dad, Fred, are chasing a big old cotton top. It's a memorable hunt you won't want to miss. Check it out. Check it out. You know, one of the most enjoyable and the most memorable hunts that I got to go on this year was with my dad on our farm in Virginia. You know, he'd been in a hospital and he'd been a little sick, but man, he loves to get out and hunt. So me and Fez, we had these birds down and they were some big gobblers and they were some 
jakes, and the, the, we just had a lot of turkey in this coming to this field. There's a lot of green clover and a lot of alfalfa. So my dad gets out and he gets feeling good enough, so he we take him and we uh, get up that morning. We get in the blind. He's got high hopes. He's he's all up in there and he's got his jug of coffee with him. We get in there and we didn't hear any gobbling, but I knew there was birds in there, so we just hung tight. Here in a few minutes, here comes these hens out in this field. And I told Dad, I said, well, you know, there's probably going to be a gobbler with these hens. Looked up the hill and seen this gobbler coming down the hill. And he gets down there. And, you know, it was hard to contain Dad. He was wanting to shoot him as soon as we seen him. And we let him get down there. and. Work the camera a little bit. Dad finally gets his gun out. More shooting. He shoots him, makes a heck of a shot. And uh, you know, I just couldn't be happier for my dad to get him a turkey. So that was one of the best hunts I believe I've been on in a very long time. We got him, guys. Got him, I got him. We came in here this morning, we didn't hear any goblin. I got to bring my dad with me. He's kind of been sick for a little while, but uh, he's, he's got to get out and get after him this morning. We come in here and uh, didn't hear any goblin, like I said, but uh, we know there's some birds in here. We had these come in, I had to decoy out, done a little soft calling on the Woodhaven call, and uh, we didn't know if it was going to happen or not, but he got the gun up and put the hammer to him. Good job, Dad. All right, Good job. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, he's a good one. That's a good one, Freddy. He's heavy, too. That's a good one. Congratulations, buddy. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Just get in and look at me. Lay the hand with that head. I don't care what. That's a good job, didn't it? Bird. That's a good name. Yeah, he's a good one. We came in here this morning with high hopes. We've been watching these turkey from the field from uh, uh, far away. We got in here this morning, didn't hear much gobbling at all. And uh, evidently they'd roosted on the back side. So we sat here for a little while and made a few hen calls with the old Woodhaven. This old boy come down the pipe and give you a good shot, didn't he? Right. Well, we're doing good. We're doing good. Good job again. All right. Stay tuned. You might get to see this big bruiser hit the ground in Kentucky. This portion of 3B Outdoors is brought to you by these fine companies. Looking for a unique getaway? Visit Kingsport, Tennessee, where breathtaking views and affordable family fun are just a short drive away. Take in the natural beauty of the mountains, rivers, and lakes. Enjoy area parks and endless opportunities for outdoor fun. Play, retreat, relax, and soak up southern charm that is truly unmatched. Experience world-class lodging and a taste of Kingsport's local flavor. Good times are made in Kingsport, Tennessee. We'd love to see you here. Nathan, that was fun. I got a lot of bites, had them on, just couldn't put them in the boat. Well, Nathan, I think I've seen your problem. Uh, we're using the same bait I am, but you don't have any hooks. Tracy, if your retirement investments had performed the way mine had, you wouldn't put hooks on yours either, because they'll get hung up and you'll lose it. That crankbait's got to last me 20 years. And I have some investment options that are safe, secure, 
and guaranteed. Hi, I'm Tracy Burton with Preferred Insurance Solutions, and I'd like to help you with your retirement needs. We just need to talk. Next week's preview brought to you by SRArmory.com, where shooters come to shop. We've got two pros, two boats on the same lake. We have the two card brothers. We've got Brandon Card, an Elite Series angler, and his brother Jordan. Look at that right there, folks. You know, we always like to go up and visit the pro staff up in Kentucky and Ohio. So we stopped by Country Boy Seeds, one of our great sponsors, pick up enough seed to do false uh, food plots. So we get up there, me and Dustin and my son, and we get to, we're eating breakfast. We're sitting around telling stories. We're looking at trail cam pictures that the guys have been getting. And we, and we get the seed up there to get out for the fall. It's the end of September. It's opening weekend of Ohio season. So we get up there. Jeff's been getting a lot of pictures. And Lionel's been getting a lot of pictures. So it's, we're real excited. It's really warm. We get there. I hunt my cedar tree first because that's one of my most favorite stands up there. We didn't see anything to shoot that night, but we seen a lot of deer. Jeff had been getting pictures of this really good buck. So we had to wait till the wind was right. When the wind was right, we went in. About 30 minutes before dark, it's just like that big old buck read the script. He steps out at 30 yards and I flat out miss him. You talking about feeling sick, I felt sick. We get to Kentucky and Lionel has been showing me trail cam pictures and he's been getting this really nice buck. So we make a plan, we go in there and get in the stand the next morning. Before daylight, I heard a deer walking up the ridge. Well, I get my binoculars out and it's a really nice buck, but we don't have camera light. We was hunting this big oak flat. I was hoping this buck would stick around till we got camera light. He did, he was feeding. And this buck comes in at 15 to 20 yards, and what makes this boat so special, I call it the Lionel buck. Well, Lionel pecks me on the shoulder and said, I've got him. So he walks in, and about 20 yards, what makes this so special is you can hear this train blowing. And I call Mr. Lionel the train man, so that, that made the hunt that much better. feeds around a few minutes, he starts walking, and the buck was so close that I was afraid to stop him, so I shot him walking. Yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about. Give me, give me some of my we ain't been in the stand an hour. This big bruiser coming through here. Mr. Lionel Green, the buck magician, has brought me in here. And we have shot a stud this morning. He come in on us before camera light. And man, I tell you what, had to wait and wait and wait and wait. But uh Oh man, thank you Lionel, thank you God. Whew. It's November the 3rd, the rut is kicking in. Mr. Lionel Green killed one back here last year, the third right Lionel. I don't know what this buck is, but he's a good one. Right before it starts breaking daylight we hear a deer walking. So the deer comes in, it's too dark, so we're waiting and waiting and waiting. Finally got daylight. The deer come closer to us. The stand squeaked just a little bit. Thought the gig was up, but you know, uh, it worked out that way. So I'd like to thank Mr. Lionel again for bringing me in here. And uh, we're gonna sit here just a little bit longer, give this deer time, and we'll go out and get him. Nice blood everywhere, Lionel. 
think we got a good hit on this deer. See the arrow laying down there? It's broke off. So I think we got really good penetration. Shooting the Matthews Chill R Rage Broadheads. The opti optics. I thank God every day for the chances I get. I do not take it for granted. And being in the woods, when the sun's coming up like this, if you've never experienced it, it's you can't explain it. Nobody can tell you what this feeling is. It'll be easy and let that Matthew down real easy. She's been good to me. We tracked the, the buck a little ways and he was bleeding really good. But what we've decided to do, we decided to go out and get some lunch and we come back and we're going to get on the blood trail and go around through here and see if we can find him. I don't think he went far because by the looks of the arrow and the blood, it looked like a really good hit. So come on, we'll go find him. We'll start right here with this blood on him and he's bleeding. He's bleeding good. Some more blood. More blood. Let's see, which way did he go? Right there somewhere. Hey, Lionel. Lionel. All right there he is, baby. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that gum right. Man, he's a good one. We didn't even have to leave him. We could have come right up here and well, got yeah, him. We could have come right up here and got him. Go oh, man, let's see. The Lionel's kind of been saving this spot for me. He killed out in Kentucky really early. He texted me pictures. And he said, uh, I think it's going to be good. They scrapes everywhere. The bucks are starting to do their thing. And, uh, man, we came up here early this morning. I was in the stand about an hour before daylight. Right off the bat, here's something coming up through the woods. Looked down. I looked over at Lionel. I said, Lionel, good buck. Camera light was, couldn't get him on camera. He was feeding on some acorns. And uh, we kept saying, five more minutes, five more minutes, five more minutes. Well, the five minutes came, he came out, he presented us a shot. We made a good shot, thank you, Lord. And uh, Mr. Lionel, buddy, I sure do appreciate yeah, welcome, it. I'm Rick. grateful, buddy. You know, this is my first Kentucky buck. Wow. My Look, very Lord, first, you daggum right. And you know what, this is the train man. You've <laughs> heard him do the train. When the buck was standing under me, you can hear the train in the background. Again, buddy, thank you. You're welcome. This portion of 3B Outdoors is brought to you by these fine companies. Want to keep hunting alive for generations to come? Yep. Want to pass on our great heritage? Watch him, buddy. He's down. He's down. We got a spider. Read your kids. Drake's Adventures interactive sound books. They'll turn them into your little hunting buddies. Back up the valley. Can we? Order one today and let's get our children involved. The reality is, as an engineer, you really do look to try to make things as simple as possible. Our goal for this bow was to build the most accurate bow ever built. The result is the creation of a radically new system. You just have to shoot it to believe it. When the light is low, that's when you find them. Scouting endless hours till I choose just the right one. I'm Lamar Smith, and I'm hunting a brush country monster. Out here, seeing is truly believing. May opto rifle scopes, binoculars, and spotters with twilight optimized optics give me an advantage to see more and hunt longer when I'm hot on the trail of that monster buck. Nathan, we're on dry land now. I don't think you'll need your life jacket inside the truck. And I only wish my retirement investments had a life jacket on them. My retirement options are safe, secure, 
and guarantee. I can't wait to get out of this life jacket and put one on my retirement investments. Nathan, we better get going. We've already fished longer than our wives expected. We're late for dinner again. Hi, I'm Tracy Burton with Preferred Insurance Solutions, and I'd like to help you with your retirement needs. We just need to talk. There are two kinds of people who fish. Those who simply fish and those who fish like pros. To tell them apart, just look at their engines. Pros choose Mercury because nothing beats a Mercury Pro XS when it comes to hole shot, acceleration, top speed, and reliability. And no one beats a Mercury dealer when it comes to service and support. Mercury Pro XS, yeah. the top choice of pros for those who fish like a pro. It's good to have Mercury behind you. Hey folks, today we're going to go over some of the unique features of the Kimco UXV 450i. The 450i is a sports utility UTV with a bent seat, tilting bed that can carry 440 pounds. The four-wheel drive is the works, with you being able to select two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, and a lockable front differential. Some of the add-ons are heater, winch, cab with the windshield wipers, and doors that are easily removed. Here at 3B Outdoors, the Kimco makes our job a whole lot easier. Check them out at Kimco.com or visit your local dealer. How about that turkey hunt in the snow? I think I heard more goblin that day than I'd heard all year. Then going to Virginia filming my dad on our farm, well that was just priceless. He gets more excited than anybody I know. Then going up to Ohio, getting all those pictures of those big bucks, having that buck step out at 30 yards and just flat out miss it. Then going back in November, Mr. Lionel, first day, it usually don't happen to me like that. Well, we're out of time again this week, folks. Join us again next week where Nathan will have you somewhere on the water.